Okay, welcome back. In this section, we're going to be talking about signals, signs, and pavement markings. Uh, all the different uh, things that you're going to see on the road, like traffic signals, traffic signs, pavement markings, and painted curbs, all right? So we're going to discuss real quick on what each one stands for and what you need to do. Now, these traffic signals uh, pertain to drivers, motorcycle riders, bicyclists, moped riders, and pedestrians, okay? Now, the universal signal uh, for stopping is a red light, all right? You have to stop. Uh, usually, there's a stop line or a crosswalk that you have to uh, stop uh, before you get there at the crosswalk. You have to remain stopped as long as the signal is red. You can uh, make a right turn on red as long as the traffic signal displays a red light. But before turning, you must come to a complete stop. You have to look both ways, yield the right of way to pedestrians and other traffic. And be sure to check the less visible vehicles such as motorcycles, uh, bicycles, and mopeds, okay? You may not turn right on red if the signals are posted at the intersection that say no turn on red, okay? Or if the red arrow pointing to the right is displayed. Now the left turn on red, you may turn left on a red light if you are on a one-way street and turning left onto another one-way street. Before turning, you must come to a complete stop, look both ways, yield uh, to the right-of-way of pedestrians and other traffic. You may not turn left on red if there are signs posted no turn on red or if the red arrow is pointing to the left is displayed. A red arrow means that you must stop if you intend to move in the direction of the arrow. You may not proceed in the direction of the arrow as long as the red arrow is displayed unless the signs are posted at the intersection right on red arrow after stop or left on red arrow after stop. Now, Virginia law prohibits left and right turns at right arrow lights, so you want to pay attention to that. At a flashing red light, you have to come to a complete stop and yield to oncoming traffic and pedestrians. You may go through it when it's clear. At railroad crossings, you must come to a complete stop even if you don't see a train. If you see a flashing red arrow, you also have to come to a complete stop, yield the right of way to vehicles coming from the other direction and pedestrians in the intersection. Then you can uh, proceed when it's clear. A yellow light or arrow is a caution and a warning that the light is about to change. If you have not entered the intersection, then you need to stop. Or if it's unsafe, you need to stop. If you have not entered the intersection, stop. Or if it's unsafe to stop, cautiously go through it. If you are already in the intersection, go through it cautiously. Do not speed up to beat the light. A flashing yellow light means that you need to slow down and proceed with caution. Flashing yellow lights are at locations with higher than normal hazardous conditions. A flashing yellow arrow, you may be able to turn in the direction of the arrow if it's clear. Yield the right of way of vehicles coming in the other direction and pedestrians in the intersection. At a flashing yellow arrow, you may turn in the direction of the arrow if the way is clear. Yield to the right of way of vehicles coming from the other direction and pedestrians in the intersection. Be sure to check for less visible vehicles such as motorcycles, bicycles, and mopeds. If the traffic light changes from red to flashing arrow while the pedestrian is in the intersection, allow the pedestrian to cross the street before turning. If you see a green light or arrow, you may go through it if the way is clear. At a green arrow, you may go through the direction of the arrow if it's clear. And if you're turning without the green arrow, you must yield the right of way to vehicles coming the other direction and pedestrians in the intersection. And be sure to check for motorcycles, bicycles, and mopeds. If the traffic light changes from red to green while the pedestrian is in the street, allow the pedestrian to cross the street before turning. Out of service signals. Now this is happens when the power is out, okay? If there's a a power outage or the utility company is working on the uh, traffic light. If you see this, you're required to stop and proceed through the intersection as if it was an all-way stop. This does not apply if law enforcement or other authorized person is directing traffic at the intersection or if the portable stop signs are in use. 
lane use signals. This is important when you're driving on highways and certain other roads, okay? The red X means never drive in that lane with a red X signal. A yellow X or a yellow diagonal downward signal means that you should move out of the lane as safely as possible. A green arrow means that you're permitted to drive on that lane when the green arrow is signaled. A left turn arrow, you are permitted to enter in a lane that's marked one way or two way arrows only to turn in the direction of the arrow. Now let's talk about pedestrian hybrid beacons. These are PHBs and they appear over intersections without stoplights and alert drivers when pedestrians are at a crosswalk. One yellow light at the bottom flashes when a pedestrian activates the PHB. Next, the yellow light turns solid to alert drivers to prepare to stop. Then the top two red lights on the PHB turn solid while the walk signal appears at the crosswalk and drivers must stop. Lastly, while the walk signal counts down for pedestrians, the PHB's two red lights and alternate flashing tells the drivers that if the crosswalk is now clear, they may proceed with caution. Let's talk about traffic signs. The color and the shape of traffic signs communicates the most important information, the sign's message. In poor visibility conditions such as heavy fog, you may be able to make out only a shape of the sign. As you approach a sign, while still in the distance, you may see the color long before you may read the message or symbol, giving you some advanced information. So let's go over some of the sign colors. Red used with white conveys stopped, yield, do not, and no. Sign colors help you know what the intention of the sign is. Red used with white conveys stop, yield, do not, and no. These are examples like stop signs, yield signs, do not enter, and wrong way signs, and a circle with a slash in it. Black used with white conveys regulatory information. Speed limit, do not pass, no turns are examples where the operation is regulated by law and the black and white signs will be found. Yellow used with black conveys a warning. Curve ahead, stop ahead, overhead clearances, slippery when wet are all examples. A specialized class of warning signs uses a strong yellow and green color with black to advise a school zone, pedestrian, or bicyclist activities. Green and white, blue and white, brown and white signs are used to provide helpful information. The green sign is used to provide destination types of information, while the blue sign is used to inform regarding motorist services. The brown sign is used to advise of historical or cultural interests that might exist in the area. Orange and black and pink and black signs are used to advise and warn about construction and incidents in the area. They are used with black and white signs that convey regulations that might exist only because construction efforts or the incident. Okay, so let's talk about sign shapes, the octagon. This is the eight-sided shape that means stop, that you must come to a complete stop at the sign or a stop line, a pedestrian crosswalk, or the curb. You have to wait for any vehicle or pedestrian to clear the way. At some intersections, you'll find a sign beneath the stop sign that reads all the way or four way. At these intersections, all the vehicles on the roads leading into the intersection must stop. If you get into an intersection at the same time as the other vehicles, the driver on the left must yield to the driver on the right. The triangle signs, you must slow down if you come to an intersection. Be prepared to stop if you see a yield sign that looks like a triangle. You have to let vehicles, pedestrians, and bicyclists safe passly before you proceed. These vertical signs generally give instructions or tell you the law. Horizontal signs give you directions or information. A diamond means warning. These signs warn you of special conditions or hazards ahead. Slow down and drive with caution and be ready to stop. A pentagon sign is a five-sided shape 
that marks out school zones and warns you about school crossings. Two signs may be used together to show that the actual location of a crosswalk. Regulatory signs inform you of the law. You must obey their instructions. Remember that the red circle with the slash means no and the symbol inside the circle tells you what is prohibited. The speed limit signs tell you the maximum legal speed that you may drive on the road where the sign is posted when weather conditions are good. Some roads have electronic speed limit signs that change based on the weather or the traffic conditions. During rain, snow, and ice, you may receive a ticket for driving too fast for conditions, even if you're driving at or at less than the posted speed limit. Do not enter in wrong way signs. These signs mean that you cannot drive in that direction. And if you drive past these signs, you're going to go in the wrong direction and could lead into a head-on crash with vehicles headed your way. Immediately slow down and pull over and cautiously turn around. One way signs, traffic flow only flows in one direction. No left turns. This means Left turns are against the law. In Virginia, U-turns are considered two left turns and are illegal if this sign is posted. No right turns. Right turns are illegal. Do not make a right turn when you see this sign. No U-turns. U-turns are illegal. Do not make U-turns when you see this sign. No turn on red. You may not turn on a red light. Wait for the signal to turn green. Do not pass means it marks the beginning of a no passing zone. You may not pass cars ahead of you in your lane, even if the way is clear. Left turn yield on green. This sign is used with a traffic signal. It tells you that the traffic turning left at the green light does not have the right of way and you must yield to the traffic coming from the other direction. Stop and look for oncoming traffic, then proceed with caution. A keep right sign is a traffic island, median, or barrier is ahead. So keep to the side indicated by the arrow. Lane use control. These signs are used where turns are required or where special turning movements are permitted for specific lanes. Traffic in the lane must turn in the direction of the arrow. High occupancy vehicles. Now these signs are indicating on lanes reserved for buses and vehicles with a driver with one or more passengers as specified on the sign. You can only use the left lane if you have two or more passengers. Only between the hours of 6 a.m. and 9 a.m. Monday through Friday. Disabled parking. Parking spaces marked with these signs are reserved for people with disabled parking permits. Disabled parking. These parking spaces are marked with these signs that are reserved for people with disabled parking permits. Now let's talk about warning signs to alert you to possible hazards ahead. Slow down and watch for other pavement marking signs and signals or work zones that may follow. Advisory speeds. This sign indicates the maximum safe speed for a highway exit. Reduce speed limit ahead. Prepare to reduce your speed because the speed limit is changing ahead. Stop ahead or yield ahead. A stop sign or yield sign is ahead, so you need to slow down. Signal ahead. This indicates that traffic signals are ahead, that you need to be uh, slowing down and ready to stop. No passing zone. This sign marks that the beginning of a no passing zone. You may not pass cars ahead of you or in your lane, even if the way is clear. Merge sign. This means that two lanes of traffic moving in the same direction are about to become one. Drivers in both lanes are responsible for merging safely. Lane reduction. The right lane ends soon. Drivers in the right lane must merge left when space opens up. Drivers in the left lane should allow other vehicles to merge smoothly. Divided highway begins. This means that the highway ahead is split into two separate roads by the, a median or a divider, and each roadway is one way, and you have to keep right. Divided highways end. Okay, this means that the highway ahead is no longer has a median or a divider, so traffic goes in both directions, and you want to keep right. Slippery when wet. When the pavement is wet, Reduce your speed. Do not brake hard or change directions suddenly. Increase the distance between your car and the one ahead of you. This low clearance sign indicates 
uh, an overpass with low clearance. Do not proceed if your vehicle is taller than the height shown on the sign. A hill. This is going to show you a steep grade is ahead, so check your brakes. This sign is for deer crossing that you have to slow down and be alert. This sign indicates that a horse-drawn buggies regularly travel in this area. So you have to slow down, don't use your horn. State law requires motorists to pass with at least three feet of clearance when the way is clear. This sign is for tractors and farm equipment that regularly travel in the area. So be ready to slow down or stop. Only pass when the way is clear. These signs are pedestrian crossing signs. Watch for people entering in the crosswalk or crossing your pass. So slow down and be prepared to stop. A second sign with an arrow may show you the actual location of the crosswalk. These are bicycle crossing and bike pass signs, which means that bicycles regularly cross or ride besides traffic in this area. Drive with caution, and a second sign with an arrow may show the actual location of a bike crossing. School zones, schools crossings, watch out for children crossing the street or playing. Be ready to slow down and stop. Obey the speed limits and signals from any crossing guards. And a second sign with an arrow may show the actual location of the sidewalk. Open joint signs. This is important to slow down because open joints on bridges or ramps could cause a motorcyclist to lose control of a motorcycle. Expansion joints. This sign is used when a joint across lanes creates a bump or is wide enough to cause loss of traction in wet weather. Intersections. These are intersection signs that you have to be alert for vehicles entering the road on which you're traveling. A Y intersection must bear right or left ahead. A Y intersection sign means that you must bear either right or left ahead. A T intersection sign means that the roadway that you're traveling ends and you have to stop ahead. You must turn right or left after yielding to oncoming traffic and pedestrians. A roundabout sign indicates a circular intersection with an island in the center is ahead. It also calls for traffic circles and these intersections may have one or more lanes. Entering traffic must yield the right of way to traffic already in the circle. Travel in a counterclockwise direction. Right curve with a side road. The road ahead curves right with a side road that joins from the left within the curve. So be alert for vehicles entering the roadway that you're traveling on. Sharp right turns. Slow down and be prepared for a sharp right turn on the road ahead. Sharp right turns left. Slow down and be prepared for the road ahead to turn sharply right and then left. Right and left curves. The road ahead curves right and then left. Slow down. A right curve with a safe speed indicator means that the road ahead curves right, so you need to slow down to the safe speed indicated. This is a winding road sign, which means that the road ahead is going to have a series of turns and, and curves, so you need to slow down for that. A low ground railroad crossing is a steep slope where the railroad tracks cross the road may cause a bottom of the low vehicles uh, to get caught or dragged on the tracks. You see this a lot with trucks with flatbeds. This is a railroad crossing sign. Advanced warning signs are placed before railroad crossings. And these signs warn you to look, listen, and slow down and be prepared to stop for trains or any vehicles using the rails. Railroad cross buck. This sign is a warning of a railroad crossing. Look, listen, and slow down, and be prepared to stop for trains or any vehicles using the rails. Trains may be approaching from either direction, and if there's more than one track, trains may be approaching from either direction on either track. Railroad cross buck and flashing lights. Flashing lights may be used with cross buck signs. Always stop when the lights begin to flash. Be alert for oncoming trains. Do not approach until all the trains and other vehicles using the rails have passed. The tracks are clear, the lights are no longer flashing, and especially be alert at multi-track crossings because a second train could be approaching from the opposite direction. Cross buck, flashing lights, and gates. Now gates are used with flashing light signals at some crossings. 
Stop when the lights begin to flash and before the gate lowers. Remain stopped until the gates are raised and the lights stop flashing. Do not attempt to drive around the lowered gates. Pavement markings consisting of an X and RR may be painted on the pavement at the approach to some crossings. When approaching the railroad tracks, be alert because trains may be approaching and crossing at any time from either direction. Unless you clear the tracks completely, never start going across the tracks. Make sure there's room enough for your vehicle and other side of the tracks before proceeding. Note that school buses must always stop at railroad crossings, even when the lights are not flashing. If a dangerous condition exists at a rail crossing, call the number listed on the emergency sign. This will allow the rail company to stop and reroute approaching rail traffic until the hazard is removed. Be sure to give the posting crossing number so that the hazard can be identified correctly. If your car stalls on the tracks, don't hesitate. Get out of the car right away and run diagonally away from the tracks in the direction of the oncoming train. In a work zone, the lives of highway workers depend on drivers like you to obey these posted speed limits, avoiding distractions. If you are convicted of exceeding the speed limit on a highway work zone, you may be fined up to $500. If you are convicted of using handheld communication devices on a highway work zone, you can be fined $250. Remember the color orange marks a work zone and means slow down and be alert. Rough road, bump, or uneven lanes. Now these signs are used when certain road conditions such as loose gravel, road construction affect the roadway surface and create potential difficult conditions for motorists, especially motorcyclists. Road construction ahead, detour signs. These signs indicate a change in traffic pattern or route ahead. Slow down because of unusual or potential dangerous conditions are ahead. Flashing arrow boards. Large flashing arrow boards or flashing message signs in work zones direct drivers to proceed in different traffic lanes and inform them that part of the road ahead is closed. Flaggers. Flaggers are highway workers who normally wear orange or yellow vests or yellow and green shirts or jackets. They use stop and slow paddles or red flags to stop or direct traffic through the work zone to let other workers in construction vehicles cross the road. Photo speed enforcement. This sign indicates that an automated photo enforcement is in place for speeding in a work zone. Always obey the posted speed limit in a work zone. Traffic control devices, barricades, vertical signs, drums, cones, most common devices used to guide drivers safely through work zones. When driving near the devices, keep your vehicle in the middle lane and obey the posted speed limit. As you leave the work zone, stay in your lane, maintain your speed, and don't change lanes until you're completely clear of a work zone. Message boards. You may see a portable or a permanent message boards along the roadways. They provide information about traffic, road, weather, and hazardous conditions on the way. Always obey any directions posted on these message boards for information about the road conditions, road construction in advance for your trip. And you can visit uh, www.virginiadot.org. Warning strips ahead. These are signs that warn motorists of black or orange strips placed across travel lanes advanced of work zones, including a flagger or lane closure. Slow moving vehicles traveling 25 miles an hour or less. These are farm equipment, horse drawn vehicles, or highway work vehicles. They must display these signs when using public highways. Be prepared to adjust your speed or position when you see a vehicle with one of these signs. Pavement markings. Road markings guide and warn drivers as well as regulate traffic. Markings may be red, yellow, or white. They may be used alone or in combinations. Each have different meanings. Red markings are generally not used, but in some communities do use red curves to indicate no parking zones. Red reflectors on pavement shows areas not to be entered or used. They are positioned on the road surface that only traffic flowing in the wrong direction would be observed. Okay, so now let's talk about uh, traffic lines. 
This is a, a yellow center line, which means that two-way traffic is flowing in opposite directions. If you see a broken yellow center line, that means that passing on the left is allowed in either direction as long as the way is clear. So you can have two cars going in opposite directions and you can pass either way as long as it's clear. A broken yellow line alongside a solid yellow line means that the passing is allowed uh, from this side, whichever the broken line is, and vehicles on a solid yellow line may only cross the line to pass pedestrians, bicyclists, riders on scooters or skateboards when the opposite lane is clear and you can pass safely. A double solid yellow line means that you cannot pass unless you're passing pedestrians, bicyclists, riders of scooters and skateboards uh, when the lane is clear and it's safe to pass. If you see a broken white lines separating the lanes of traffic going in the same directions, that means you can change lanes uh, with caution. When you see dotted white lines, which are actually small rectangles in a series, which are closely spaced next to each other. They're used to show lane assignments in intersections and interchanges where they might be otherwise be a tendency to drift out of lane or out of the area for intended use, okay? Many two-lane roads in Virginia do not have lane markings to separate the lanes. On unmarked two-lane road, you may pass a slow-moving vehicle on the left if there's no signs prohibiting passing. Make sure the way is clear. Solid white lines show turn lanes and discourage lane changes near intersections or interchange or on ramps and other locations where lane changes might be dangerous. Solid white lanes, they also uh, mark the right edge of the pavement so that you can know where to stop and the arrows will show you exactly which lane you can turn left or right. Solid white lines also mark the right edge of the pavement and the arrows are used with the white lines to indicate which turn may be made from that lane. Stop lines, crosswalks, and parking spaces are also marked uh, with these white lines. White lane arrows are curved or straight and if you're in a lane marked with a curved arrow and the word only, you must turn in that direction. If you're in a lane that has a curved arrow and a straight arrow, you can go either direction. A double solid white line separate lanes of traffic going in the same direction. Most of the time you'll see these with high occupancy vehicles or an express lane that you can't enter in unless you have a special pass or you have more than uh, two people. A yield line is a line of triangles extending across the roadway that may be used with a yield sign to show the point at which you must yield or stop if necessary. A yield line is often seen around roundabouts. On three lane roads with traffic moving in both directions, road markings show when drivers may use the center lane for making left hand turns or for passing. If the center lane is marked by a single broken yellow line on both sides, drivers traveling in either direction may use the center line for passing. If both sides of the center lane are marked by a solid yellow line or a broken yellow line, drivers traveling in either direction may use the lane for making left turns. However, they may not travel further than 150 feet in this lane. A shared lane marking or sharrow consists of a bicycle symbol with a double chevron arrow above it and it's used for travel lanes that are too narrow for motor vehicles. And bicycles are to share that lane side by side. So charros clarify where bicycles are encouraged to ride in the lane, reminding drivers to expect bicyclists on the road. Bicycle lanes are indicated by a solid or dashed white line or green pavement markings in the bicycle symbol. A bicycle lane is the preferred use for bicyclists. Drivers should not drive in the bicycle lane except when necessary to turn uh, left or right. Before turning, check your mirrors for bicyclists that may be behind you and yield to the bicycle's lane. Bicycle boxes are painted on the road at intersections. They contain a white bicycle symbol. Bike boxes and bike lanes approaching and leaving the box may be painted green. Drivers must stop for a red 
traffic signal behind the bicycle boxes and not inside the box. Bicycle riders will move into the box in front of the drivers at the intersection. Right turns on red are not allowed at these intersections. If turning right on a green light, drivers must signal and yield to the bicycles on the right. We talked about this earlier about high occupancy vehicles. HOV lanes are marked on the highways by a diamond shaped in the center of the lane. HOV lanes also be special lanes separated by a barrier or a solid double line. During heavy traffic periods, HOV lanes are reserved for buses, van pools, car pools, and other high occupancy vehicles, motorcycles, and certain clean out specialty fuel vehicles. If lanes are separated by a barrier, they are reversible. This means that during certain times of the day, traffic flows one way. During other times of the day, traffic flows the opposite direction and the diamond shaped markings will also indicate that the lane is reserved to use as a bus lane let's talk about toll plazas and lanes all toll facilities in virginia accept payment by using easy pass toll transponders a transponder allows drivers to pay electronically without having to stop and pay with cash if you have a transponder as you approach the toll booth look for the following signs with the purple Easy Pass logo. If you do not have a transponder, as you approach the toll booth, look for and follow the signs for cash only lanes. Slow down as you approach toll plazas and be extra cautious as you approach, enter, and depart toll plazas. There may be other drivers changing lanes or toll employees crossing lanes. Some toll roads have high speed lanes reserved for vehicles with easy pass trans transponders. Do not enter those lanes unless you have a transponder. However, if you do enter one of those lanes by mistake, do not stop. Stopping is unsafe and could cause a rear end crash. Cameras will photograph the car's license plate and the registered vehicle owners will be billed for the toll. A painted curve means that you must follow the special rules to park there. Check the locality for the specific meanings. Generally, the colors on the curb mean white means stop long enough to pick up or drop off passengers. Yellow means stop long enough to load or unload, stay with your car. And red means do not stop, stand, or park. In our next section, we're going to be talking about safe driving in Section 3.